Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. the founder of the Nazarene Academy for Gifted Children. I'm very excited about this. It's very special to me because I am starting this for my own children. A couple years ago, I learned that my son was gifted. He was identified at a very early age, and that's when I started my mission and my obsession began. Although there's some fabulous programs all over the country, we just don't have anything here in Las Vegas. Being a native Las Vegan, it was very important to me to stay here and bring this program to the community. Our program is incredibly unique. We're the only school in the entire state of Nevada that specializes in gifted children. We're the only private, independent elementary school. Um, what that means is that we meet the needs of gifted children socially, emotionally, and academically. We keep them engaged, they're challenged, and we do it in such a way that they actually enjoy learning. Um, so one of the things that we do with our curriculum that's unique that nobody else does is we integrate and we differentiate. What that means is we have a theme. So we take our academic units and we teach children how to do their math, their reading, their writing labs through hands-on project-based. So one of the things we did at the camp during the summer was a brain camp. Our theme was the brain. The children were exposed and actively learning the science of the brain. Uh, we also did a brain dissection, which helps students really drive home the helps us really drive home the point um, to students that you know we are made up of this material, and this material is responsible for everything we do, from walking and talking and breathing and running and everything we do, thinking, yeah, everything we do here. Um, so we dissected a sheep brain. It's kind of fun to see the difference between a sheep brain and the human brain. So we call that comparative anatomy. Uh, and then the last thing we're going to do today is we're going to make a brain hat, which we have a baseball cap that's plain and white, and we'll basically draw out all the lobes on it, and then label and color them, and the kids will, will decide for each lobe what helps them remember what that lobe does, and we'll draw something on it. And then they'll have a, what we call a thinking cap to take home, which is a nice way to remember what we did today, but also to um, help them understand that different parts of the brain do different things. So we've had um, children that have been exposed to coding and have been doing it for years, very advanced. We're going to do some art coding. We're going to do some coding to create some artwork. And then... We were able to differentiate, even at our camp, the ability for those children that are incredibly advanced to keep moving. And so we weren't holding them back if we had somebody that was uh, newer. We do this through very small classroom sizes so we can really give the children the attention. My name is Ellen Lambert. I'm from California. Um, I've lived in California my whole life and I studied environmental biology in college and I always knew I was interested in education. Um, so I pursued that after I graduated. I was working at a gifted um, elementary school for about two years, and then I decided to come to Nasri Academy to uh, become a science teacher here in Las Vegas. The kids were having a lot of fun. We had a lot of, a lot of activities for them to do, um, and overall I think it was a very um, cool and fun experience for the kids and also for myself and for the other instructors. Our staff is incredibly unique. Everybody is experienced and trained with working with gifted or highly gifted children. We have a very diverse group of professionals that uh, know how to work with children to keep them engaged and keep them um, challenged. Hi, my name is Allison Berman. 
I am a um, new teacher of humanities and will be the counselor at the Nazarene Academy for the Gifted starting September 6th. I'm real excited about the opportunity to work at the first private school for the Gifted in Las Vegas. Today I'm visiting the camp that is a week long for students that are interested in the school and our students that are looking into being or spending time with other gifted students. The curriculum this week has been wonderful. They've been working with the arts, theater, learning about the brain, hands-on activities, making connections, socializing with peers that are similar to themselves, and it's exciting to see all the energy and fun that our kids are having together today. We don't believe in repetitive, um, just repeat this and learn and memorize. Um, once, you know, when you're in college and you memorize a lot of information and then you take a test, you walk out of there, you don't remember very much of what you've said. So what we do is we give these children some experiential learning, hands-on learning, and then they apply it. A good example is when the Ruvo Brain Institute, Dr. Wint was here. So I'm Samuel Hickson, medical social worker from Cleveland Clinic, Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health, and we're here at the Nazare Academy Summer Program as a part of their integrated approach to understanding the brain and how it works. So I'm here with colleagues, Dr. Dylan Wint, who's a neuropsychiatrist from the clinic, as well as some educational staff, to teach the students about the brain and perception and context and what happens when you struggle with a degenerative disease to blend everything that they have learned between art and technology and movement. Now we're bridging that gap together to show them what happens when you have breakdowns in the brain through a very interactive approach that teaches them in a very simplistic way. We were putting this program together. It was very important for us to be able to allow all children to participate regardless of their financial status. So we're starting this school as a nonprofit, and in order for us to be true to our mission, we are looking for scholarships from our local community to be able to offer those children of low-income families the opportunity to come to the program that qualify. We do testing, intelligence testing, to make sure that we're truly capturing children that are gifted to be able to allow them the opportunity to grow and learn. Fun. They've had a lot of fun. They've learned a lot about the brain. Um, today what we have for you is uh, what we've done with the physical education component and the movement in music. We want to um, feed in myself. This week at the Nazarene Academy Brain STEM Camp was absolutely fabulous. Children made new friends, old friends became friends again. The children just could not stop with their thirst for learning. We are so happy to have been able to provide a camp for gifted students here in Henderson and Summerlin this summer, and we hope to do it again. And to everyone that participated, thank you so much for making this dream come true. This is Jocelyn, one of the co-directors of the Nazarene Camp from the Merman School in Los Angeles, California. I will return.